Pope Francis makes a big impression in Portugal just hours into his visit to Fatima. He's joining hundreds of thousands of pilgrims for the 100th anniversary of the apparitions. Good evening and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. Pope Francis receives the red carpet treatment during his arrival in Portugal, including a warm welcome at the airport. From there, the Holy Father used a golf cart to travel a short distance to the air base's tiny chapel. That's where he was greeted by a group of children and people with special needs. Pope Francis hugged and kissed several of the kids before continuing his trip. The Pope is flanked by a huge security presence. Around 3,000 police officers are protecting the pontiff and controlling crowds. His presence drew a huge group of pilgrims to Fatima's vast square. The rain that poured down earlier in the day gave way to a brilliant warm sun by the time Francis arrived. After passing through the crowds, the Holy Father went directly to the statue dedicated to Our Lady of Fatima. The Pope plans to honor the shepherd children who had visions of the Virgin Mary in Fatima 100 years ago. Your pai revela aos the Pope's remarks are being translated for broadcast around the world. Alan Holdren is the Rome Bureau Chief for Catholic News Agency. He joins us from Fatima, Portugal. Alan, what has been the reaction to the Holy Father's arrival there in Fatima? Well, Wyatt, uh, here in the square, just, uh, just right outside the Basilica of Our Lady of Fatima, this uh, beautiful reaction uh, came first when the Pope flew over in the helicopter, uh, just came right up over our heads here. And uh, the crowd just erupted in applause. There's this, this beautiful moment of, uh, of intimacy, really, of all of these hundreds of thousands of people with the Pope. And then when he came in in the Pope Mobile, you just feel the love. I mean, this is a place of peace, of silence. We had chaos for a moment because there, were, there was a lot of noise here. You could, couldn't even hear your own voice. And then we had moments of silence where the Pope was praying. Uh, this, this incredible connection between the Pope and the crowd, just really beautiful here in Fatima. Well, Alan, as you know, the Holy Father is hoping the message of peace that the shepherd children shared with the world 100 years ago will resonate today. Remind us, what was Our Lady's message to those shepherd children? Well, when Our Lady appeared, it was exactly 100 years ago, in 1917, and it was just here behind me that she appeared to three small children six times over the course of the year. Her message to them was uh, a secret for the longest time, and uh, the, there were three main themes. Uh, people called them apocalyptic. Uh, she um, warned the world uh, against the atheist regimes that would rise and fall. The, she foreshadowed the coming of World War II if people didn't turn away from sin. Uh, she gave the children a vision of hell. And she also uh, told them about the, the death of a pope. Uh, all of those were, were spot on, uh, except the pope didn't actually die. He was shot in uh, St. Peter's Square. And uh, the, the children carried this message to the popes first, and the popes brought those to the world. Well, many Catholics may remember that St. John Paul II had a special connection to Fatima. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, John Paul II was actually uh, shot on the feast of Our Lady of Fatima in 1981. Uh, he said afterwards that it was Our Lady who uh, directed the bullet um, in a way that he wouldn't actually die from that assassination attempt. Uh, and it was such a, a strong devotion that he had that it was just one year later that he came here to Fatima for the first of three trips that he would make during his pontificate. Uh, we see also this strong devotion carried out in Francis's work. Every time he goes on one of these trips, just like he did last night, he goes to see Our Lady there in Rome to pray at an icon. Uh, and we saw that strong devotion again here tonight uh, in the footsteps of John Paul II when the Pope Francis prayed in front of the statue of Our Lady on the site where she appeared to those shepherd children, two of whom will be canonized by Pope Francis tomorrow. It's nice to see the crowd building there at that pilgrimage site. Alan Holdren, Catholic News Agency, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you, Wyatt.